going on. So I want to come on and talk to you today about some products that I've never talked about before. I mean, there might be one or two I have, but most of them I haven't. These are what I call, and I've seen on some videos where they call them workhorse, workhorse products. So that's what these are, and I keep them in my desk at work, most of these. Now, sometimes they will come with me if, you know, I think I'm going to need them. But these, most of these I have used for a long time, or I've had them for a long time, and it's stuff that I've bought over and over and most of them are inexpensive okay so the first thing we're going to talk about is this highlighter from Ofra this is the one that Nikki Tutor Tutorials did it's called Glow Goals and this is still available I keep this I have it on my cheeks now for when I want to freshen up during the day this is what it looks like it's beautiful and this is probably one of the most expensive things I probably got in here. But I, this came in a, maybe a BoxyCharm because I didn't buy it. But I do love Ofra's products and I will list the link down below. I don't have a code, but I know there's some codes you can use and I'll list a couple of them if you would be interested in this. But this is a great highlighter. I think these are a great replacement for the Opal. Opal. <laughs> For the Becca Opal, I mean, that Ofra just has so many, and they're good. And you're supporting a small business, too, that is not, that's independent, not part of a conglomerate. Okay, the next thing is this Milk Makeup Sunshine Oil. It's a rollerball type oil. You just put it on your cheeks or wherever you think you want. You have a little dry skin, or it's got a really nice scent. You, you could use it as a perfume oil if you wanted to. <laughs> but you can get these in different sizes. I mean, I think you can get them in a travel size plus the full size. Or it's on Sephora's Perks all the time, it seems like. Or the Point, 100 Point. That's how I got it. And I have two of them. So one stays in my desk and one stays in the car. Love this. It's, I mean, when you, it says sunshine oil, when you think of when you smell it, that's what you think, sunshine. It's just got a really nice, pleasant scent. Okay, before we get into other things, we'll talk about another cream that I keep. Of course, this is the Egyptian Magic um, Oil. This is the little one that comes in the kit that you can get at Costco. Now, you can use this on your cuticles, you can use it on your lips, you can use it on your skin. I just like to keep one. Now, I also like the Mama Bees. And it started out that it was less expensive than Egyptian Magic, but now it's more expensive. So, I do think the Mama Bees might be just a little better. I don't know. I guess it's... But there's it's not enough difference, I don't think, to really worry about it, I guess. Another cream that fell out that won't fit in here is the Nivea cream. Now this is the little tin that you can get in, in larger sizes. Um, this here, this is supposedly a dupe for La Mer. I'm not gonna go and say that. I've heard that this is the base that La Mer uses and they throw in the, the cocktail that La Mer uses in all their products. I don't know if that's true, but I do like this cream. I like to put this on my neck, my decollete. It does give you a little glow for a few minutes. And I also put this on my cuticles. This has, this does have mineral oil and petroleum, so, or petrolatum, whatever how you want to say it. So if you don't like that, you won't like it, but I don't have any issue with those ingredients. Okay, now we'll get on to, of course, I always keep some kind of fragrance. It varies from fragrance to fragrance. This one here is, of course, a scent bird that I still get every month. This is Carvin, and this has a nice, clean smell. It, it's almost like a laundry smell, but it's not quite as laundry smelling as clean is from fresh. But this is a nice fragrance, especially to spray in the car. <laughs> okay, of course, we always have Maybelline Age Rewind. This one is light 
Now, I've bought several colors. I still prefer brightener the best if I really want to wake my eyes up, my under eyes up. But this one is good. Also, I, was trying, I thought I saw somebody over there. I think with the traffic around here, sometimes I think somebody's around me, but it's the shadows of the cars passing by. But this is always with me. You know, it's a, it's definitely a workhorse product. Okay, the other thing to do with the eyes, to wake the eyes up, is this Rollerball Serum from Dollar Tree. It is a dupe for, some say Garnier. Actually, Clinique is the one that started these. So I say it's, it's a dupe for Clinique because this one's clear, whereas Garnier, I think, has a little tint to it. But it's cooling and the serum is nice. I've had, you know, probably 10 of these over the years. And they definitely wake up your under eyes if you're, you know, if you need to, if your eyes are looking crepey, put this on and then put on the Maybelline Adri, the Maybelline Adri one and you'll look all fresh. Okay, now we'll get into some lip products. Well, let's do this one other, let's do these two other eye products first. Okay, one, okay, I keep a liquid liner. I prefer liquid liners, eyeliners. So if I need, if I mess up my liner somehow, because I always have a lash curler, because you know my lashes are straight and the curl falls out. So if I need to touch up my eyeliner, I keep one. This is the Benefit Roller Lash Eyeliner in black. This is travel size. Now, it may not always be this brand, but I do always keep a liquid in there. I do like this one pretty good. Now I'm gonna say this while I've got this in my hand. The Kat Von D or KVD Vegan Beauty Eyeliner and Trooper used to be my favorite, but this last one I bought is horrible. It's splotchy and I think they've changed the formula. So I won't be buying that one anymore. The Epic Ink Liner from NYX or NYX is blowing that one away right now. I don't know what they've done to it. And also somebody said that they had taken down their Instagram. So I don't know. I know they've got that foundation coming out. So I don't know what the deal is that. So I don't know if they're going to totally rebrand this time with a new name or I don't know what's going on. Okay. The other thing is, and I see I, I lose lids on stuff all the time. But now I can't see that one. Anyway, this is the benefit highbrow. I always have one of these or some off brand. Now it'll worry me because I can't find the lid. But anyway, I always keep one of them, either this one or another brand to highlight mine. I use it sometimes to do my inner corners here. And then, you know, of course, to go up here. I realize I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking at the viewfinder. I gotta quit that. Okay. Well, I'll worry about that in a minute when I get out of the shade. Okay, lip liners. This is Buxom Dolly. Always have this one. Of course, I keep a sharpener in my desk too. I didn't bring that. Mac Whirl. And then there is Rimmel Spice. Always have those. Now, I was keeping Lancome Ideal. But the last one I bought was horrible. And I, you know, I talked with Lisa Lisa D1 about it because that's her favorite. And she said hers seemed the same. So I'm gonna buy it somewhere else the next time when I buy one and see if maybe I just got a bad one or what happened. Okay, this is the, and I know I've talked about this before. This is the L'Oreal Revital Lift Miracle Blur. If you need to, hide a wrinkle real quick. You know, you want to do a photo. This one's getting old. I need to replace it. You just dot it here and it'll blur those, you know, those, those smile lines out. I just put a lightly on there, so. But it will do it for a minute. Doesn't last forever, but it will do it. Another moisturizer I always keep is of course, CeraVe. This is just the moisturizing cream. If I need to, you know, sometimes I'll admit I get I get I cry for no reason at all, or somebody upsets me. I'm just a crier, and so that's why I I keep almost a full face. Of course, I do have a foundation in my desk that I didn't bring out either. 
And right now I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus regular foundation if I need to touch up. Okay, this is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I won't repurchase this one. I'm gonna get a different color. This one just doesn't have enough color for me. Now the one I like better is the eyeliner, the Pillow Talk eyeliner. I like to use it as a lip liner. So, cause it's darker, you know, I want dark. <laughs> I want to be able to know that I've got it on there. And then, this is the Jack Black Lip Balm with SPF 25. I love this to put on my lips. It also has some mint in it, so you will taste the mint. Of course, you find that with the men's stuff. And do I have anything else? I keep a setting spray too. I keep Right now I have the Jeffree Star Morphe, which I know is gone. And also I keep a bottle of the spray Evian or Evian water. I always keep that at my desk. Now the newest things I'm keeping is my City Beauty Lips. This is, of course, the regular one. Of course, it's gotten color in it now since the clear. And then this is the City Lips Matte in a Rosy Mauve. That's my favorite right now. And I also have it on now, but I applied a darker color on top. Let's see if I can find it here real quick. So we won't be here forever. Of course I've misplaced it, I guess. Anyway, it's a color pop. I don't know, I'll put it below. Another one that I have been carrying in my purse since I got it. Another lip one. And I just saw it. Now I can't find it. You know, I have this habit of I see it, but then I can't find it. There it is. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury. And, you know, I have very Victoria. Is that the one I have? And then this one here, this is the one that I had to wait so long to get around Christmas. This is Walk of Shame. For me, this is the best color ever. It's got just enough color in it, but not too much. Now, if for those of you that like really pale lips, you're not going to like this because you'll say uh, it makes your lips too bright or whatever. But me, I love this color. So if you like a... This reminds me of the old Estee Lauder brick lipstick that I wore for years. So I don't know. I almost think sometimes this is that color and they just did it with theirs. I don't know. Okay, a mascara that I keep. This is the Clunk Crusher from CoverGirl. This is a good mascara to touch up with. Now this one's probably getting old. I probably need to replace it, but Anyway, this is a good one to touch your, up your lashes with if, you, if you're like my lashes where they fall. Now, I also have been carrying the Lancome Ideal Mascara too, the, the little one that I've got, which it's almost dry. I mean, I can still get a little bit out of it, but it's, it's pretty much done. Now, I've been carrying the, the new Fenty powder with me. I'm still on the fence with this powder. It's not what I was really wanting, I'll be honest. It does blur on top, and it's okay as a foundation, but I still prefer the MAC Studio Plus as a powder. I just, I just, I just do. And I, I always have a hand cream. I go between hand creams, I have to admit. The one though that I have in my pocketbook here is the Corel Dry Skin Therapy. This is the one that has oatmeal in it and ceramides, and I just love the Corel lotions. It's my favorite lotions from the drugstore because I get like this one and then the one in the red. Uh, I think it's, it's something ultra repair or something like that. But my favorite is the one that's in, that's got the blue like this because I know it's got the oat complex in it plus ceramides. And I have my mom and several other people I know on it, and they won't use anything else but this. 
I've tried the Nivea, I've tried the Eucerin, tried the Gold Bond, but I always come back to this. And you can buy it in the tube at Dollar General. If you don't wanna buy the big size, you can buy a tube that's bigger than this. I think it's like 3.4 ounces um, for like 350, or you can get it at big lots, I think, for maybe a little bit more than that. So that's the one I recommend. So that's it. And I know this is, this video is a little different and I, I'm in the car because that's just the easiest place for me to be because when I get home, I have to do all this stuff before I can sit down to film. So it's just easy for me to do this as soon as I get off from work and film in the car. Plus the lighting is beautiful. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and please leave me a comment. As you know, I'm trying to get my engagement numbers up better. So maybe I could get more and I, I'm not, I don't want anybody to think that I'm going to be one of these people that's going to do that all PR because I'm not. I mean, I just, I can't see myself ever going that way. Of course, I could never see myself getting that big either where I would be constantly having PR, but I would like to get, I would like to get noticed by more brands. I'll be honest, you know, I mean, and I want to eventually make a little bit of money off this channel. So anyway, that's the only reason I'm trying to get my engagement up. So please leave me a comment. And of course, click the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and feel free to email me anytime if you want to talk about something or DM me on Instagram and we'll talk. So I'll talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.